That's why I'm not against stopping the league. I, I just don't see the 100% benefit of it. So, and about that, between stopping the league and carrying on, there are different levels which we can talk about. So, stopping the league means we stop now for one week, for two weeks means uh, five, six games, two weeks probably. So, when you want to play them. I think always when you when you think about something and maybe in, in one a specific point it's on our hands anymore and somebody else will stop the league, then it, then, it, then it'd be like this. But as long as we can decide it or whatever, when do we want to play the games? That's one thing. So the other thing is now we just play on. Well, really difficult, pretty much impossible. So because we have not now only uh, not, not only um, smaller squads because step by step players will get infected. That's how it looks in a moment. Hopefully we, we can break the chain somehow and all these kind of things, but it's not unlikely that it will happen. So and then we have games. On Sunday, we have done a game on Wednesday in a, in a competition, FA Cup, where, if I'm 100% right, tell me if I'm wrong, the opponent is not, uh, there's no real testing regime, or, and the vaccination rate is really low, but we don't know anything about it, we don't get any kind of information, because it's just football and we have to play against them. Three days later, we play another football game, and then we have the, the, the incredible thing, all of us pretty much 26, 28. So with reduced squads, smaller squads, you cannot play that schedule. So that's another thing. So can you can you can you play on? Yes. Can you use youth player, academy players? Yes. Can you play then every three days? No. 